Hi, my name is Brian Lozano, once again. Um, what am I most proud of? I'm uh, mostly proud of the achievements that I've done uh, through high school year. Mainly uh, mixed martial arts, something that I took that helped me out a lot throughout this year. I was able to learn like self-discipline, mostly um, be able to interact more with like, uh, I guess you can call them like, um, I think they call colleagues, but more like uh, with the people that I that I work with. We were able to achieve that one goal that we were all looking forward to, and that was, you know, getting the bike belt. And I think that was the most proud of achievements that I have that I that I did throughout high school was getting my black belt. It was pretty difficult at first because I also had to worry about school and all that and I still had to take like maybe like an hour or so to you know try to attend to my classes, try to drive myself there and then throughout those years trying to get to that to like the academy I still had to you know learn how to how to drive and all that and overall I think it's I'm really really proud of it. Something that's helped me out through, uh, a lot and it's something that I uh, I rarely talk about it but it's one of the achievements that I'm really proud of. So um, second question when are you at your best as a person student friend brother slash sister i am at my best when i am with uh, i guess with when friends family or anyone needs help i guess i'm my best to say the least i tend to help out those that um that i you know currently struggling like with college family issues or anything i i tend to really be there that's when i'm really i feel that i'm more at my best uh i feel that I, as long as like you know give company to someone or talk talk to them like you know through the like, through the problems that they may be having, I feel like that's my strong point, if anything. So that's another thing that you can be really proud of as well. Question number three: How do you respond emotionally, practically, etc., when you are challenged? So that's been one of the uh, challenges that I usually deal with in life. Things I sometimes get a little bit stressed out when things don't, don't really go my way. I tend to go a little bit. Uh, I plan ahead of time. So every time, like you know, when I wake up, I already have something mentality, like something I already have something ahead. But um, I struggle a lot with, um, um, not emotionally, but mostly with stress when it comes to it. When I get a little bit overwhelmed, I tend to like, kind of freak out. But I know that um, at the end of the day, the result might be kind of the same outcome. And if it's not, that's something that's you know a little bit challenging for me uh, every day. But um, I think it's a good thing. So, I mean, I learn from it. And then I don't really repeat those mistakes uh, again every day. Question number four. What do you need to be successful this year? So um, I believe to be more successful this year would be uh, experience. Again, uh, my major right now is uh, culinary arts. And I really want to get, get that little experience from the kitchen at the moment. And it's something that I want to try to succeed in, uh, get more experience, try to learn from like the basics. Well, enhance those basics, if anything. And try to learn more recipes. <laughs> If anything, not just the, the food wise, but try to like learn how like the importance of like running a kitchen, uh, like the, when it comes to like buying products, maybe uh, talking with like other colleagues and overall just menu planning, something that I really want to do. Uh, question number five, what does it mean to understand something? I don't know how to interpret it, but I think the best way I can, you know, I guess understand something would be kind of like really, well, we'll, we'll go with topics. I guess really look into like, you know, a certain topic or something that you're studying or something. And kind of like going over it but if uh to really really understand what's going on is to share something that you might know about the topic almost like and that might give you like a brief understanding of whatever you're trying to learn for i guess that could be applied with almost anything so that's my view on understanding what should school do for you um personally for this semester i want to learn as much from the basics that i'm currently taking I um I am I am a transfer student from UTEP and I have finished my basics. I mostly just took math, English, um, history, and all that. But um, now that I transfer here, I am taking like new courses, like uh, for example, speech. I ended up taking uh, philosophy and um, sociology. So I guess what I what I want school to teach me is uh, I guess I just want to learn something new, something that I um, was not aware that can be part of my. Um, my degree, like for example, philosophy. I took philosophy not knowing that it was part of my course and I actually learned a lot of things. I ended up learning that morality and ethics really do apply in the kitchen. So I'm really happy that I learned that. And okay, question seven. What should you do with the things you know? Um, I guess apply them to where you're uh, going back to question six. I guess apply them to the way you've learned so far. Um, everything that I've learned through these basics, um, I kind of just want to apply it to my major career. Again, um, philosophy has really been a, bit, a big part of it. Uh, I learned that um, ethics uh, takes place with like the basic rules that you apply in culinary arts. And, like for example, like cleaning, uh, sanitation, the way you uh, interpret or you like associate yourself with other colleagues and um, 
most importantly how much you put how much care you put on your on like the plate that you're serving because everyone has the same goals as your colleagues everyone you know wants to everyone's getting getting paid the same as you are and they're still putting out the plate but it depends on guests and a different standpoint uh, i'm sorry a different standpoint of view that it applies ethics so i think that's the thing that i want to do apply whatever i learned from basics to that uh, question eight, are you a picky reader? What are your strengths as a reader? Uh, am I picky as a reader? Um, I can say yes. <laughs> not a lot of things catch my attention. So if that's the case, I tend to not really, uh, not really put my off. I think that's one of the things that I kind of struggle with. If it's something that doesn't really catch my attention, I kind of just tend to throw it out of the way or what they like to call it. I don't really tend to put my, my effort, I guess all the effort on that I should be giving to. But um, if it's something that it's really interesting, um, that catches my eye or something, I do tend to put more time in it. And I tend to go over, uh, like do a little bit more research when it comes to like learning something new when it comes as a reader. Uh, and I think that's it for that one. Who are your heroes and why? One of my greatest influences that I was throughout high school that even got me to culinary arts, I started off watching, as funny as it sounds, I started watching uh, Kitchen Nightmares a lot. Gordon Ramsay has been an influence to me. When it comes to cooking, I think he does a great job as like uh, many people see him as a really mean guy or very strict about it. But at the end of the day, he does have like those morals uh, or the good intentions to help others. So I kind of want to do or I kind of want to apply those uh, same morality to the people I guess I work with. Even if one day I get like a higher position as a chef, I can still respect the person no matter even if I'm in a higher position to say the least and help them as much as I possibly can. So that's something I want to do for sure. What do you want to learn about this year? What are you curious about? And what can a person do with, do with curiosity? 2022 for this year, I will, um, I am currently taking a lot of baking courses. I do struggle a lot with baking and that's not my strong suit. So that is something that I'm very curious about learning and trying to little, you know, nitpick it, if anything, like, you know, try to build up uh as a chef or as a culinary arts student i'm sorry um i think that's what i'm really more curious about even though it's not my strong point i would really love to like you know uh try to learn it mostly uh try to nitpick like the the, the baking aspect of um as a culinary arts student so uh, i guess that's what uh, what curiosity can do overall can um help you i guess learn things that you have never learned or um, try something new that you might you know never really consider learning and i think that's all for that one question 11 when are you most creative and what do you think that might be i think i'm most creative when i have my i guess free time on my own well when that happens i guess when there's no one home or i'm in my by myself i think that's when i get i tend to like build up uh i tend to be a lot more creative especially um or if i have an idea of something that i want to do or if i'm inspired by something that i saw like in public uh for example maybe like a recipe uh one like while i'm working uh i sometimes get like random inspirations to like oh shoot i want to try to create a or recreate a dish maybe have it uh like in a different home style like a, or like a new way to say the least and that's when i'm very most creative or sometimes i, I just random inspiration just comes in randomly to be honest but um i tend to write it down a lot more uh, of anything i I write it down and then from there later on the day if i do if i do feel like you know i want to start working on it i tend to make myself some free time to start going uh to start working on it and that's where i get my random creativity inspiration 